For today's buttercream flower piping tutorial, we will be making apple blossom flowers. To begin, attach a square of parchment to a flower nail. Using a number 103 tip with the wide end facing out and the narrow end at the center, we're going to apply pressure and spin our flower nail to form a disc with a small hole in the center. We're going to pipe a second disc directly over top and this is going to create a slight cone shape for us to pipe our petals onto. So we're going to flip our tip around now so that the narrow end is facing out tuck the wide end right into that hole in the center, apply pressure while spinning and pull out to the outer edge of the base that you formed to make your first petal. We're gonna tuck our tip right next to that first petal and we're going to apply pressure, spin and move back towards the center to form five petals for our apple blossom flower. And as we come in to pipe this final petal, we're just gonna lift our tip up slightly just so that we don't damage that first petal. So now we're actually gonna pipe our second layer underneath. So you're gonna tuck the wider end in next to that base with the narrow end facing out, and you're going to apply pressure while spinning your flower nail and pulling out slightly to form five more petals for the under layer of our apple blossom flowers here. You'll also find these detailed piping instructions and the buttercream recipe down in the description box below. So now I'm just going to switch to my number three tip and I have a thicker consistency buttercream here so I just added a little bit more powdered sugar so that I could get these nice long stamen in the center of my flower. So you're just going to want to apply pressure and then slowly pull up before sharply pulling away to create the nice center for your blossoms. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, I'd appreciate it so much if you would like or subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll link a few more tutorials here for you. Thanks so much for watching!